If you're looking for a coding AI agent specifically for front-end development, then you're in the right place. In this video, I'm gonna show you a tool called Combine, which can tackle all kinds of front-end complex coding problems. And it also supports many UI frameworks and libraries that are out there for front-end development. And if you were to look at the code review benchmark for front-end, you can see that Combine here has outperformed models like Gemini 2.5 Pro and also Sonnet 4 Agent as well. And Combine here also outperforms the feature implementation and also compilation success for all the metrics here, which is an overall very powerful AI agent. So to get started, first thing first, to install this, we're going to click on Combine here to install this onto our coding IDE. And my choice here is going to be using Visual Studio Code, but feel free to use Cursor or WinServe or any other IDE you like. So to get started here, you can see inside of our VS code, I have the Combine here extension installed. So you can simply just search for the Combine extension and you can install it here on our uh, Visual Studio Code editor. So once you have this, you can see that here on the left, you can see we can click on Combine and we can start to interact with the Combine AI agents right in the chat inputs. So here you can see that we can start to ask anything to use the ask symbol here to reference the Figma files or files instead of our projects. So I can also choose the code mode or I can also choose the ask mode where we can interact with the AI agent here with different types of conversation. So let's say if we want to choose the code mode where we want the AI agent here to code for us, uh, I can also here change the tech stack. So for the tech stack, things like we can change the framework, right? So for frameworks, you can see we can change to Nest.js, uh, 15, 14, pretty much the latest frameworks that are out there. And here you can see we can also change to, you know, using state management, components. Uh, for components UI library, you can change that from like material UI all the way to using like chassis and for example. And then here we also have styling where we can choose. So things like Tailwind and also uh, global instructions, advanced configurations, and so much more, okay? Usually if you have like existing project, you can also use this feature to scan the workspace and auto fill the tech stack form that we have here. Here, if we were to go to my file explorer, you can see that we don't have any files here for our projects. So I'm just gonna let combine here to build a project from scratch. So to do so here, you can see I can be able to reference a Figma file or files inside of our folder or I can also attach a Figma link here and also an image. So in that case, I want to have Combine here to uh, build a project similar to this, where we have a digital marketing website UI design. So all I have to do is just copy the image here and I will navigate back to Combine, paste the image, and I will let Combine here to build it from scratch. So here I just say, please build this. And here you can see it starts to ask me some questions on the framework, the API or the routers that it's gonna to use to build this project. And then once I change those configurations, I can click on save and come back here. I will click on proceed with the configuration for the framework and tech stack that we set for this project. So I'm going to click on proceed. Now you can see that it started processing the application and let's see what the result look like after it starts to generate the project. All right, so here you can see before I generate the project, it starts to do the planning phase. So it starts to create a plan for me to review before it starts to execute. So here you can see we have different sections for the page, like hero sections, the client logos, business growth, branding, so much more. And then here we also have the features like the responsive designs, the static display. Um, and then here you can see there's also styling. So we can also change colors based on our preference. Um, so here you can see, we can also change the typographies and also the animations. So once everything looks good, we can start to click on approve plan and start coding. So here I'm just gonna let Combine here to execute the plan that it provides. All right, so eventually it's able to generate the files and code. And these are the files for components, hooks, styling, everything else. So here I'm just gonna click on save. It's gonna save those files into our projects so we can see them here. So, so far you can see we have pages, we have our components, we also have our hooks. So for example, use mobile. So if it's in a mobile view, we can also change that to be in a different uh, responsive design. So, which is really cool. So now uh, I think I can simply just do npm install first. And once I install this, if I were to run npm run dev, and here I'm just gonna navigate to this port. Awesome, so here you can see this is what the result look like for our digital marketing services. So we have our hero section, our call to actions, and here we also have the company brandings, also the information sections, latest works, brand recognitions. So really responsive cards, by the way. And uh, here, if we were to look at the informations, you can see that these are all here. And if we were to, you know, put this into a smaller screen for the mobile view, you can see that it also able to uh, shrink or be able to put them into one column. So it's pretty mobile responsive, which we can see here. So we can pretty much see all the content here in mobile view. But of course, if you're looking to learn more about front-end development, I also have a couple videos on my YouTube channel 
where I talk about front end. So you can check out this video here for the 14 front end system design concepts, or you can also check out the micro front end architecture where you can learn more about how to build a complex, robust front end architecture using these videos here. All right, so to continue the video here, what I wanna show you is how I basically build a finished front end here using combined here. So basically you can see that this is the full application, which simply we take the UI design from Figma and we use combine here to build this. And this is what the finished result look like, which here you can see we have our workouts, our diet plans where we can track our calories, our macros. And here's the overview for the schedules, the goals, the progress. And here we can also view the goals, also the chart for activities. So pretty much you can see that these are the full UI builds completely using the combine here to build a full finished front end application. Now currently you can see that this application does not have any backend. This is just to show you that it's able to build the front end from a simple UI design from Figma, which here this is what it looks like, which the end result here you can see is very similar, where we have the sidebar, the top nav bar, as well as the icons. And here we'll have, have the schedules, the goals and progress. And here you can see we also have very similar, the sidebar, the top nav bar, the profile icons, also the progress tracking, the schedule, the goals. So it's very, very similar to the one that we have. And just to show you the project, basically this is the project that I was talking about, which is the personal health. And you can see that I was using Combine here to basically provide the Figma design. And you can see that it starts to generate the plan for this. And once I confirm everything, then it's basically start to build out the entire application. But during this process, you can see that I was also able to add additional features by telling exactly what my requirement is. All right, so now I just wanna summarize everything on why we wanna use Combine here for a specialized front-end AI agent here. And basically I take that article and use Gemini here to summarize this. But basically the main differentiator for Combine here is that it has this domain specific knowledge on front-end development. And it also comes with the pre-test human verified context with various of front and libraries, which follows the current best practice and update latest library versions, which is a major advantage over other general purpose models out there. So if you ever have a situation where you're using like models to generate the front end code and you find that some code are outdated, then it's probably time to give this product a try. And here you can see there's also additional features like advanced Figma integrations and Combine here has the ability to interpret Figma designs and knows exactly how to clone that UI added onto the front end application, which we can clearly see that Combine here really separates from other general models out there. With the domain specific planning, break down components into smaller tasks, automatically fixing the errors to preview the generated components. And then we also have the intelligence model routing, which can help us to select the best AI model for a given task. So pretty much that's why if you're doing front end development, you should definitely try out com you should definitely try out Combine here. And in terms of pricing, currently we're using the pro plan, which currently you can see we're getting 4,200 credits per month. But if you're using a free plan, you can get up to 200 credits with a bonus of 300 credits if you're doing the free version. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you do found value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribe for more content like this. But with that being said, I will see you in the next video.